Right, guys. So back in grade 10, we used to do lots and lots and lots of these questions. And the idea behind them is that you look at these three numbers and you break all of those numbers down into their prime numbers. Remember, your Casio calculators can do that for you by doing that whole um, shift fact method. Okay, you probably know about that already. Okay, Collins, that is correct. So uh, this number here cannot be broken down any further. So I'm just going to leave it like that. Nine is the same as three to the power of two, of course. So we go three to the power of two in a bracket, x minus y on the outside over three to the power of three, and then in a bracket so that you can keep the x minus y over there. And then this one will just hang out, or that can just hang out there for now. Right. What I'm going to do in the next step is I'm just going to um, multiply these, ex these exponent parts over here. I'm just going to multiply them all together. Oh, um, I see. I see. Iman, that is, a, that is a multiplication sign. Very tricky. I know. See there? Multiply and then X. Um, don't worry. I've made that mistake many times in my life. So what we're going to now do is, okay, so now we're just going to go 3Y and then multiply. Now we're going to multiply the two in. So that's going to become three to the power of two X minus two Y. And then at the bottom, it's going to be three to the power of three X minus three Y equals one. Now we got to go all the way back to grade nine and 10. And we need to try to remember what happens here, because even in grade 12, a lot of you, when you look at this, you want to multiply these two numbers together and you want to say nine, not correct. Um, remember that if you have, um, if you have two things multiplied together, like three to the power of X and three to the power of two, that does not become nine. It rather becomes three because the bases stay the same. And then you add the exponents. Okay. Awesome. So, um, let's quickly see what happens now. So it doesn't become nine or anything like that. Okay. So I'm going to carry on over here. And so that's going to become at the top, it's going to become three to the power of y plus two x minus two y over. And then this will just stay like that. And then we'll just leave that one over there for now. I'm just going to simplify a little bit further. So that will become three to the power of two x. Let's write that a bit better. Two x. Um, minus y over three to the power of three x minus three y equals one. Now let's think about earlier grades. If you had x to the power of seven over x to the power of two, you minus these exponents. Okay. Now, for some reason, I've seen this many times. Um, ever since grade nine, a lot of us, what we do is we, we always want to cancel these out. They can't cancel because we have exponents. So what we rather do is, is we leave it as a three. Whoops, I can't put an equal sign there. There's already an equal sign. So that becomes a three. And then you're going to take the top minus the bottom exponents. So I'll put that in a bracket. There are other ways of doing this. That's equal to one. And then I'm just going to simplify. So that just becomes negative x plus 2y eventually. Negative x plus 2y. Okay, and then that's equal to one. Now, ideally, we would want these two numbers to be exactly the same, because then we can cancel the base. So remember that the number one can be rewritten as three to the power of zero, because that is also equal to one. So we can do this. There we go. And then... Uh, we can now, what we can now do is we can cancel out, we can cancel out the threes because they are the same. And what we'll end up with is um, minus X plus two Y equals zero. And if you eventually solve this, you should end up with X equals two Y.